Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas bauble earrings. They're very cool, they glitter and sparkle and just perfect for a night out at Christmas. I am going to show you with red rather than green, just to give you an idea of how you can make them in different colours. So let's get started. What you're going to need for this project is two 12mm faceted acrylic round beads, four 6mm acrylic biclones, four gold round beads, these ones are four millimetres, four gold bead caps, two 5cm head pins, and two ear wires. What we're going to do first is take a head pin and a gold bead. And we're going to pop that gold ball onto the head pin. It's a bit crooked. Give it a straighten. Then a bicone and a bead cap. Then we're going to add our large bead, another bead cap, this time facing the opposite way another bicone and another gold bead. So this is what we're looking for. It's a bit crooked so I'm just going to give it a bit of a twist to straighten it up. That happens sometimes with head pins. Okay now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to bend this over to a right angle at the top. Now I need to make a loop, and this is way too much wire to make the loop with, so I'm going to cut some off. So I need about a centimetre to make my loop, so that's about there. So I'm going to hold both sides of the wire and cut it. And there's the piece we cut off. Just put that aside for a minute. Now I'm going to take my round nose pliers and make the loop. So to do this, I'm actually going to make this loop reasonably small. So I'm about half a centimetre away from the end of my round nose pliers. And I've popped the head pin between my, the jaws of my pliers so that it's not sticking out above the jaws. So when I rub my finger over it, it doesn't feel like it's poking up. Now I'm going to take my plier and I'm going to turn it away from me, twisting my wrist until my wrist can't go any further. Now I remove my, head, my pliers, pop them back in on the lower jaw, put the lower jaw in the loop, and just continue to make the loop till it's closed. Okay. And there we have a good loop. It just is sticking up a wee bit. Alright, so there's our earring component. What we need to do next is add the ear wire. So I'm going to do that by opening the loop of the ear wire. Now you can see here that this side is the side that opens, so I'm just going to turn it over, get my pliers and twist it. Notice I'm holding the side of the ear of the wire, not like this, like this and I'm going to twist it up. The reason we twist it up and not pull it out is so that we maintain the integrity of the loop and make it basically it, so that it stays to be a nice circle. Now we hold the earring out of the way and close up the loop. We close it just by reversing that twist of the wrist. If it's not quite closed, that mine's got a bit of a gap, you just up and down a few times until it gets to the right point where it's not going to be, there's not going to be a gap anymore. And there you have one earring, one Christmas earring. So let's make another one.
The way that I'm going to ensure that I have two earrings with the same size loop and the same size is that I'm going to take this piece that I cut off the previous earring. I'm just lining it up there with the head pin and I'm going to mark it with a felt pen. And now I know exactly where I need to cut to make it exactly the same size. So once again using the flat side oops, of my flush cutters so I get a nice straight cut and holding each end of the wire I'm just going to cut it and those two pieces should be about the same size. Now we have a pair, a lovely pair of nice red crisper ball ball earrings and I also have a lovely pair of green ones. So I'm all set for Christmas. So if, you didn't, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and uh, I've put, I'll put a link below to where you can get the materials or a kit to make these earrings. I hope you've enjoyed this easy project and I look forward to seeing you again soon.